edition of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. I am Juan Farage. It is. Uh, I'm not Donald Trump. No, you're not. It is 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 one thirty in the morning, one thirty in the morning on Friday or Thursday into Friday, however you want to look at it. We literally just got out of the theater. I still have my frozen icy, which is pretty much melted now, and I shouldn't be drinking, but I'm going to anyways. Uh, and we watched Black Panther. The latest movie by Marvel Studios, uh, Black Panther, Black Panther. I actually did a jingle. Can I play it? No. No, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the jingle, guys. I so like. I, I'm so like. <laughs> and we're gonna make a music video for this too. So here, here, here's the jingle, guys. Here's the jingle. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Very eighties. Yeah, it, you know what it was? It, I'm like, I'm like, if Black Panther was gonna have a cartoon in 1984, what would his theme song be like? That's how it would go down, right there, mm -hmm. right there. We're gonna make a little Cork Comics, <laughs> Black Panther 80s, um, uh, like jingle video for it. It's gonna be great. I can't wait. Anyways, um, first of all, are you tired? Yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> you didn't want to do this at all, no, did I'm you? I'm too old for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm exhausted. What time do you wake up today? Five in the morning. But I'm, I'm, I'm. I fortunately can say I did not do that. But so okay, so one thirty in the morning, right here. Black Panther review. Yeah. Reviews are in. A lot of them are getting. What what was it? Near perfect or perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes? Yeah. A lot of people said that this is the best installment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to date. A lot of people are saying that. I'm just going to come out and say it. I disagree. Mm -hmm. You? Um, I don't think it's the the best Marvel movie we've seen. No. Uh, it's not the best. It's good. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. To call it the best, I mean, first of all, it's not better than Iron Man. No, I, I still... I, I still and, and we're talking about this as a superhero movie. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, no, no, th th this is... Th this is this is, I mean, clearly, the, you know, look around you, kids. Like, we're all about the comic book genre, you know? We know this shit like the back of our hands. Mm -hmm. Like, there's there's no politics here. There's nothing, nothing like that. This is strictly... I mean, I'll get into that later, but I, as a superhero movie, a super I, movie I, yeah. I still feel Iron Man was better. The, Iron uh, Man was better? I, I, I believed uh, the Captain America movies all were three. still... All three still of them. All three of them. Exceptional. And yeah. then uh, Guardians. Guardians the, Only the first one. Mm -hmm. um, after that, I, I I do put this up there. Um, yeah, but, but I, I, I don't Ant think Man, I love. I know you didn't like Ant Man. I love. No, Ant -Man. I prefer Black Panther to Ant Man. I, I thought it mm -hmm. was a really excellent movie. But with Marvel, it's no surprise. Marvel's almost become like the new Pixar, right? Where they just don't put out bad. They products. don't put up. They don't put out bad movies. And this yeah. was an excellent movie. The yeah. the casting was on Great. point. Great. Um, honestly, so when Black Panther first made his appearance in uh, in Civil War, Civil War, yeah. I was blown away. Um, I was like, they couldn't have cast this better. Chadwick Bos yeah. Bosman, I think yeah. his name is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Almost every single person in this movie outshined him uh, for me. Um, I thought except uh, Forrest Whitaker. If Forrest Whitaker was just <laughs> Forrest Whitaker, Forrest right? Whitaker. <laughs> um, yeah. Most yeah. surprising to me was uh, Michael B. Jordan. Well, I, as look, Killmonger, listen. he was amazing. My, Michael B. Jordan, you know, I, I want to say Michael Jordan, but unfortunately, you know, the B. that name's taken, so we got to add the B. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael B. Jordan was great, and, and uh, I mean, Michael B. Jordan really doesn't make bad movies, though, at least not yet, you know? Mm -hmm. And and say what you will about that Fantastic Four remake, whether you liked it or hate it, Michael B. Jordan was great. Yeah, he, he's a great yeah. actor. He killed it. Um, I don't know the actress, unfortunately, her by name, but Michonne. Um. Uh. Uh. What's what? De, de, is it? Is it the deny or? Uh, yeah. Michonne. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Michonne. She, she absolutely killed it. The casting was yeah. Michonne. Perfect. Michonne is like badass. Deny. I think her name is Deny. Mm -hmm. I think it is. I'm. I'm but uh, we're just gonna call her Michonne. I'm sorry, Deny Michonne. Your name. We'll look it up uh, later. I'm sure. But but she. She's a badass on Walking Dead, and she's a badass in this fucking movie. Yeah. Too. That character was probably the most. Uh, 
stole for me she stole every scene she was in she was great i uh, mean his sister also to me was the techie one, yeah the techie was yeah. incredible yeah she was yeah, great she was really fantastic you know who else was good was uh uh the is it napita um she was in 12 years a slave and, and she won the oscar for that actually didn't she and then she was she's maz in mm-hmm. star wars mm-hmm. black panther's girlfriend ah uh, she was okay I thought she did good. No, she she did good. I mean, everyone did a good job. But I mean, like when when it comes to outstanding, um, obviously Michonne, uh, Michael B. Jordan, um, and uh, and uh, it was great job on the casting. Great job on the casting. Yeah, and, they knocked indeed. it out of the ballpark. Indeed, and you know Andy Serkis did great too. I'm sure he was so happy to not be a CG character mm-hmm. in a movie. He could actually be himself. Um, I, I don't know about him being like the um, you know, the the the. You know, I'm I'm like this huge music hip hop R and B fan or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh but you know I mean it's good. Yeah. Uh but yeah, who else would yeah. Klaus was really great. Oh yeah. Death was completely unexpected. I'm kinda mad that he died. He because he was excellent. Yeah. He was he was really, really, really funny. Yeah. Um and he was he was great. He was great, but you know, I, I understand the need to do it. I mean, the way that they that they introduced Michael B. Jordan, how they developed him. I mean, he came across as a joke when you saw him the way he was in the museum. People in the theater actually laughed. Yeah. Right? And and slowly, as the movie went on, he became a, a tra- force. A tragic character, of, too. A, a tragic character and a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Right? I, I actually saw him as uh, T'Challa superior, like in almost everything. The fact that T'Challa won was surprising. Yeah, I mean it's not surprising. It's I mean, not surprising, but I, mean, I was so into the movie, right? And you know he's gonna win, but just yeah. like they really did, uh, they did a lot with with Killmonger, and I was sad to see him go. Uh, I, I was sad to see him go. I was sad to see Claw go. Yeah. Um, uh, what did you think of Wakanda? I thought Wakanda was awesome. Wakanda was great. Great mix. Uh, they did really good with the technology. The sand and, technology yeah. was really cool. All, all that stuff was really really awesome. Yeah. Um. I'll tell you this, man. I I didn't think that Disney uh, had it in them to make such an overtly uh, political movie. Uh, I thought this movie was was it's it's probably the most political uh, superhero movie we've we've seen. Is it? I, I would I would consider it up there, man. Civil War was pretty political too. Not like this, not like this. Um, and and that's where I have um, not not it, it, I don't I don't have issues with the movie, but that's where. I have this. I could, I didn't root against. I couldn't root against Killmonger. Like I understood completely where he was coming from. I sympathized with him. I empathized with him, and the way they wrote it, it almost became like an. To me, it was an indictment of Wakanda and T'Challa and the way that Wakanda has always been. Michael B. My, yeah, okay. yeah, and and Michael B. Jordan was like you said a tragic character that. Um. And he he was right, you know. Based on you are let you let you have the resources to not make a, to not let us suffer. Yet you allow us to suffer. Yeah, but he didn't go in as 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 with with the savior mentality. He was like You're revenge. The resources, revenge, and I'm gonna give all the weapons to you know the poor so they can overthrow the governments of the world. Right. And you know. And, and I, 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 I and, and he had a very dictatorship mentality too. Like we'll be the we'll be the rulers of the world. Right, but we'll I, I, I could I, I understood where where he was, and so it was uh, hard for me to root against that character. And I was actually rooting against T'Challa for some of the movie, and that that was like weird for me, right? Because like, as a superhero movie, like we've had plenty of anti heroes, but I don't think we've ever seen an anti hero like like Killmonger because it was really rooted in in stuff that's going on now. I mean, and, and, wait, 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 time out, though. Zemo in Civil War, come on. You know, his family got murdered as a casualty of his surroundings. They weren't mm-hmm. even involved. They just died because they just happened to be in uh, Sokovia or whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sokovia. And and he's like, you know what? I can't beat you guys, but I can set it up so you guys can beat yourself. Mm-hmm. You know? No, no, and, and I appreciated him, but I, I, I feel like, you know, this, this, this movie really took it up a notch. I don't think that there's any denying that this movie was was political in nature. Well, look. Aside from that, it was you know there there were there were many references to uh, you know um, 
white ancestry, colonialism mm -hmm. yeah. um, from the British. Mm -hmm. They they jabbed at them. Uh, they jabbed at the slave trade. You yeah. know, uh, when 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 Killmonger at the at the end was like, you know, I don't want you to save my life. You know, right. you bury me in the ocean. You know, yeah. you know, because I'd rather. I, 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 thought that that was, I thought that you was know, an incredible and an emotional line. Very, very, uh, is prolific. I don't know. Is that is that a good word? It it was. Um, um, it was definitely an exclamation point to the movie. Yes, for sure, yeah. for for sure. Um, uh, aside from that, the the cut scene at the UN, you right. know, which didn't really speak towards the movie. I, I thought it was more like. Let's let's go outside the movie for a second and, and talk it, yeah. about modern day society, right. and 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 we should all be unified as one. Right. Which I'm I I'm actually I yeah, actually it was agree it with was it was yeah it was a message. You know? um, um, things where where does the movie where do you think I, I I think it missed in quite a few spots. Um, mostly within the Marvel universe is where I feel like it missed. Right. This is the movie that's leading into the Infinity War, right? This movie did not tie Dick into the fucking Marvel Universe, with the yeah, exception this, yeah, of yeah. the final cut scene, which had Bucky come out in a fucking robe and fucking just look at the sunset. Yeah, and, and, and that's it. And, and and I, I think they missed an opportunity to, to connect it um, to the Marvel Universe as a whole. I, dude, you're popular. Like 2 we we dude. we should have we should have seen <laughs> we should have seen an Infinity Stone. We should have seen an Infinity Stone. We should have seen an Infinity you Stone. Know, the, I mean, there's no doubt now that one of the Infinity Stones is in Wakanda. Is there? I don't know. I mean, that was I a mean, huge if, fucking crater. The stone's only this fucking big. Right, but if we go into... But the stone was probably within that. You know, I, I think what's going to happen is as they're mining the vibranium, they'll find the stone. The what? So what? They Is it the stone that's powering the vibranium? And probably. Then, so what? Then Wakanda's dead in the water once they pull the stone? No, no, or 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 maybe the stone already transformed the vibranium to what it was because Captain America's shield is obviously vibranium and yeah, it's it's fine not being near the source. Yeah, but maybe the stone had something to do with the power um, that this had. Yeah, um, because if you remember, if you go back to the Avengers, uh, the the trailer, right now we can a hundred percent know that that was him in the uh, so the ancestral plane, right? Yes. So I'm pretty sure. That the stones there. Um, I wish they would have shown something to the stone. Um, this movie also takes place about a week after the events of Civil War. Does it really? Well, yeah, because he, he said he turned them in like a week. This was a week ago. Yeah, I guess so. Right, yeah. when they're showing the, the blowing uh, yeah, up yeah, of the yeah, UN, yeah. right? Yeah, so they, they didn't waste no time. Yeah. You know, I know it's not about that, but again, within the context of the Marvel Universe, Captain America. See, in the end of Civil War, we see him at Wakanda with Black Widow. Yep. Right? Yep. All, there's no uh, way not to like like seeking safe harbor there because yeah, he's seek, wanted because he's wanted yeah and went to, uh, uh Bucky's on ice mm -hmm. too yeah. like again like um given the situation that they were in the movie like this mutiny I guess situation they were in the mm -hmm. civil war I guess you could say within Wakanda you know it, and and Bucky was clearly thought out we saw that you mm -hmm. know and if he wasn't thought out like take him off ice you know he, he, He's a super soldier. Yeah. You can use him. Right. Like, if Bucky came out, or, you know, I, I I don't expect Chris Evans and Cap to show up in this movie. Okay. I, I think, I I think, even though he was there, we saw him at the end of Civil War, I think it would overshadow. Oh, no, 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 absolutely. But then yeah. what happens is knowing that they shouldn't have set it up that way at the end of Civil War. Absolutely. But you know what? I don't think they knew that. You okay. know? I think, I think Civil War ended. They ended principal photography, went to editing, and Black Panther wasn't even written yet. Mm hmm You know? Because when did Civil War come out in relation to, like, two years ago? Yeah, yeah, like two years two, ago. Two, two and a half years ago? Yeah, like Something years, like yeah. that. So it's been, you know, I, like, I'm sure the script was in development, but, but okay. they, yeah. Um, it, but, yeah, it definitely did not tie in the Marvel Universe that well, with the exception of the few Civil War references and Bucky at the end. And, and again, I, I, okay, that's fine. Like, it, it's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't affect my opinion of the movie, right? But... Until now, we've kind of been led down this one path, yeah. right? Where even in, in the last Spider-Man, Iron Man was in that movie like 50%, just so we know it's in the Marvel Universe. Yeah, yeah he was in a lot. Yeah. Right? And so, it, that, that's, that doesn't make me have a negative opinion of the movie. It's just an observation. I just don't feel like this movie... You could see this movie outside of the Marvel Universe. This is this could be a standalone movie. Oh, absolutely, for sure. Yeah, it doesn't you know, need the Marvel it, Universe it, to it, exist. You know, it, it, not only could it be a standalone movie... Uh, but it could also be a movie to launch 
the Marvel Universe. Yes. Like, this could have been your Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I would have been fine with it. That it, it Yeah, I would have been fine with that. Yeah. Um, so, so what? The only things you didn't like about it was that and the political undertones? No, no, I didn't say I didn't like the political undertones. Okay. No, 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 no. Um, I love the political okay, undertones. Okay, well, well, what didn't you like about the movie? Well, like, like, for you to say that all these other movies are better than this one, and everyone in the critic world is giving this high praise, what, what, what didn't you like? Well, well, the thing is, because there's two ways to look at this movie, right? There's, you know, there's, you look at it within the context of, of, of the Marvel Universe as a superhero movie, and then you can just look at it as a movie without the superhero stuff. Yeah. Right? Uh, as a movie without the superhero, without, out of context, right? It's an excellent movie which I have no problems with, really well done. Uh, the storyline is classic. It is Shakespearean. You know, we, we were talking about how there's reviews. It's, yeah. It's 100% Shakespearean. His father kills his uncle, abandons his child, yet yeah. his child grows up to be king. Yes. But, okay, completely. So uh, that stuff appeals to us, right? It's classic, yes. right? Yes, uh-huh. um, Classic storytelling. The movie, as in, it was a great movie. Within the Marvel Universe, having the other movies that we have in the Marvel Universe, I don't think is as good as those movies within that universe. I agree. Right? Um, do I think it's it's a more relevant movie than, than Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. Do I think it's more important than Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. Do, do I think there's stuff that was done way better than Guardians of the Galaxy? Wait, wait. Yes. Why do you think it's more important than Guardians of the Galaxy? Guardians of the Galaxy establishes the Marvel Universe in space. I, I'm not saying... I'm saying as a movie, not as a superhero movie. I'm not saying as a Marvel movie. Okay. I'm saying it's relevant because because of what it's doing. Like there, there's obviously a Black Panther effect happening now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, even Netflix. Well, is... you're, you're you're talking you're you're talking outside of movies. Oh, outside of the Marvel, you, right? Right. But well, I'll... I mean, no, we can't we can't deny the fact that this is this is truly probably one of, if not the first, big budget, big studio blockbuster hit to appeal to everyone that is practically a full black cast. Yes, and and it was excellent. It was excellent. And ex- ex- and 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 it, you know what? It, it's I'm I, I'm you know obviously neither of us are black, so we can't speak on behalf of the black community. But I do have friends who who have talked to me about it that are black because they know I'm in the comic books, right. and and they're not into this shit at all. Right. But they want to go see Black Panther. Right. You know because it, it, it's it's it, it, it they it's. It, it hasn't it, been done before. It haven't been done before. It's it's empowerment, and you know what? It, it, it speaks to children, black children, uh, that 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 they could be superheroes too, because mm-hmm. in their eyes, you know, you know, they see Spider Man who's white, and Captain America who's white, and and Iron Man who's white, you know, and and but now now they have their hero that they can relate to, that right. they can look up to, that they, that can be their role model. Right. And so and so you you compare that to, to Guardians like the impact of the mo- a lot of the movie even no, the, the aliens, no right. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Even the, the storytelling of the movie, right? Green like people. there's so much about it that's better than any movie Marvel has made and I absolutely believe that wholeheartedly. You right? talk about Guardians? No, I'm talking about Black Panther, oh. but within the context of the Marvel universe, right? I, I, I don't feel it was better than Guardians. I don't feel it was better than, than Iron Man. And I do not feel it was better than Captain America. No, I've, uh, man, any, any three of them. Right. And, and, yeah. and, and the reason is I, I just, it wasn't, it wasn't comic booky enough for me. I understand that we saw a dude ride, riding a rhino. Like, I understand we saw some cool superhero type shit. But it, Plus, it, how, it, how badass were the women in this movie? Like, amazing. Like. Like, yeah. Like. Wow. Yeah, no, they killed it. Um, it, no, there was so, there was a lot in here. There's a lot to like unpack here, but you know, as as within the context of a superhero movie, I just don't think it was Marvel's Marvel's best movie. So that's what you don't like about the movie. Nothing else sticks out to you. No. See, there's a couple there's a couple things I didn't like about it, and and uh, one of them for me is, you know, I claim ignorance to Africa. I don't know the nation i don't understand the 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 continent other than what i see on tv Mm -hmm. you know um and what's shown in pop culture so like you know when when i think africa other than what you're taught in school in america you know uh and what you see on like discovery channel with the with the animals and the safaris and stuff like that um i i 
it, at least for me, I my exposure to Africa was Eddie Murphy's Coming to America, which obviously was not even Africa, probably. No, it was no, probably no. shot here, but that whole scene in Zamunda in the beginning, mm-hmm. you know, and then The Lion King, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, um, and I think those are stereotypical things that America thinks of Africa because of what media has shown us. And, and I'm not saying Disney and Marvel, you know, played into that stereotype. Maybe that it really is the way it is. I don't know. But, you know, when you hear, like, the music and, and like, like the, 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 first of all, the music was great, I thought. I thought, mm-hmm. I thought it had, like, a, a nice hip-hop feel to it with, like, orchestral movie scores. But then there were times when they put in, like, the, you know, I don't even know what they said, but I, I'm thinking, Alueta, you know, from Lion King. You know, because 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 it, it had that feel to it, and 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 it just it took me back there. And like when they were doing the whole ceremony in the beginning to see who was going to be king, you know, like 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 I, I I got I got taken back to like when I was watching, you know, uh, Eddie Murphy getting his queen presented to him, and they did that huge dance and everything like that. Uh, if that's the way, if that's the way it is, great. You know, it you know, cool. Then good, good, good for not just Marvel Studios, but good for Eddie Murphy and good for Lion King for for doing their proper research. But um, it, it just it it seemed very. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying here? Mm-hmm. You don't understand what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So you you didn't you didn't you didn't you didn't. There weren't parts that reminded you of those other movies. Oh, it kind of reminded me of Lion King. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but not because of that. The, the story. What do you mean the story? The story. The deposed king coming back. Blah blah blah. Scar was the. Scar wasn't the fucking lost. Cousin. I know he was the uncle. I'm not saying exactly, but it's like it's the story. The deposed king is sent into exile, comes back and reclaims his crown. So what are you saying? The, write, the, the writers the... ripped off fucking Lion King. Hmm. It was very Lion Kingy. It was like, yeah, Lion King mixed with like Shakespeare. I would go with the more, the more Shakespeare thing. I, it was I would, definitely way more Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah, but 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 story wise, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm the, not the, gonna... the whole deposed king coming back, claiming his crown, saving saving his his people. Like, yeah. I mean, Lion King's not the first to do that either. But yeah. yeah. Um. The other thing that 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 was a miss for me, and it was was the fact you had this you had, all right the the CIA agent kind of like was goofy at times, you know, and and I was like. Come on, dude. You're a fucking ex-pilot, and, like, you're a high-ranking CIA official. Like, you're gonna be a badass. Show me Homeland, you know? Show me, like, I, I, like, I like an agent from Homeland, because that's what you're gonna be, you know? Like, you're gonna know how to handle high-pressure situations, and you're gonna you're gonna handle it with professionalism, because that's your... But he did, when he got back in the plane. No, he didn't. He, he, he was he was kind of, like, more comic relief than he was. I, 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 think, I think that character was completely unnecessary. I, I agree. They shouldn't have had him in the movie. I, I don't think he was necessary either. But the fact that he was there, he was. I thought he was there more for comic relief than for effectiveness as a character. Uh, and and I don't, you know? I don't, I don't, I think the comic relief is not something that was needed in this movie. I don't think it was called for at all. There, were, there were a lot of funny moments that I that that people were laughing at in the theater. That I agree with you. I'm like, this, yeah, we didn't, we didn't need. And I get it, Marvel. Marvel is known to like incorporate their, their comedy in all of their movies. Mm-hmm. They don't want to be like dark DC. You know, um, the, the the tone of this movie didn't fit that. This was again, like no, I it, said, this was a political movie. This was this this had a lot of undertones in it, and and the comedy just was out of place. You know what, too? You know what, too? Uh, th- this movie was not just about political undertones and stuff like that. I mean, it's about tradition. It's about royalty. It's about it's about family. It's about heritage. Yeah. It, you know, very rich ideas. You know, yeah. um, and. Uh, it, it doesn't need to be funny. Yeah, and, and they didn't need to stick him in there, and I think that took away uh, the scenes that he was in. I was almost bothered by it, right? Yeah. And there were scenes with comic relief he didn't need to. When when T'Challa's mother is like in front of the the king or the 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 other leader that they were going to try to get uh, help uh, the from. mountains, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and he's just like in there. Like, it took away a lot from the emotional impact of that scene. Yeah, and and I think almost every scene he was in, it was almost an annoyance for me. Yeah. Um, it's a character. I think Marvel misfired there with that character. I don't. I don't understand. He, he didn't, really didn't have a purpose. Like, if he's not in the movie, everything happens the same. They could have just had someone else take out the pilot. Yeah. The other. I mean, the other. Like the, the his his sister could have done it. Sister definitely could have done yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, because his sister 
Like when she went when she went toe to toe with Eric Killmonger. It was great, by the way. It was great, but she shouldn't have even survived that. No, right, right. You yeah. know? Like the moment he had her gauntlets, she should have been dead. Right, right. And then the other thing I didn't like about the movie is when Eric slit one of the girls' throats. Mm-hmm. And I get it, it's PG thirteen, but not one drip of blood anywhere. But let's, he sold it, man. Because you saw that smile on his face? Of that course, was uh, yeah, fucking no, crazy. Look, Michael B. Jordan is Michael B. Jordan. the man. Yeah. You know? Uh, they need to put him more movies. Yeah. Shit. Uh, but unfortunately, he's out of the Marvel Universe. So we won't see him there. Yeah. Although, unless they do a Fantastic Four. What a fucking too. waste, man. Yeah. He's such a good actor. That smile he gave after he fucking sliced her throat was, like, creepy, well, unsettling. You, you know what, Mar? I mean, look, there's so many great actors on the planet. So, like, you know, kudos to Michael B. Jordan. But Marvel... Marvel's really they they there's so many people that have that they have killed off that are great. Michael B. Jordan now is gone. Andy Serkis is gone. You know, if, if you want to go further back, Jeff Bridges is gone. You know, from Iron Man one. I mean, who else have they fucking killed? Oh, fucking Red Skull gone. Man, Marvel. Who does their casting? Cause have they missed on casting? Yeah, and you want to know what's crazy? Every time I feel they're gonna miss. They like hit like Doctor Strange. I thought that was going to be a disaster. What do you mean? I knew. No. I I knew what's his name was going to be a great Doctor Strange. I wanted Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Yeah. I no, didn't think he was no, going to be. No, I, I knew he was going to be. Great. Chris Evans is Captain America. Well, you know what some, you know what some people will say. Mm-hmm. Some people will say that speaking of Doctor Strange, that Marvel fucked up with the Ancient One, because she wasn't Asian. Mm-hmm. Although she did a great job. She did do a fantastic. Fabulous job. Yeah. Um. And, uh, but it's, it's, you know, I'm trying to think where else I see. I wanted Captain America to be Brad Pitt. No, no, he's too old. You want to know I wanted to be Brad Pitt? Because you like old people? No, it's not about old or young people. It's about, you know, Brad Pitt and, and, and Robert Downey are close in age, I would assume, you know, given the way they look. And in the comic books, you know, Cap and Iron Man are friends, Mm -hmm. you know, they're like almost best friends. Okay, yeah. And and like Robert Downey and Brad Pitt, yeah. Like and what you're gonna tell me, Brad Pitt can't do an action movie? No. Like, no. no. He looks great still. He could fall. He would be. He would have been a great. Nothing against Chris Evans. Chris Evans does a great job. He does. A lot. Of, remember they were gonna have John Krasinski be, be Cap? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which say what you will about the guy from The Office. Yeah, that's, that's you know. Weird. Whatever, dude. He's been in those military I'm flicks and kicking ass, and he's in the new Jack Ryan. Uh, serious. Yeah, he's he's goofy looking. Um, as a whole, um, we're obviously seeing the Marvel, the next phase of Marvel, before Doctor Strange was the first one, Black Panther's the second one, and what eventually will be the new Avengers. Um, do you like the direction that Marvel's going? You know, because I'm loving it. I'm I'm liking it too. But here's the deal, like, you know. You have your A squad, you have your B squad, C squad, blah, blah, blah. Marvel needs the Fox deal to go through. Yeah. Because without the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, they're tapping into B characters. And listen, let me make something clear. I'm not saying Doctor Strange and Black Panther are shit characters. They're good characters that got rich history. But I'm talking about, as a comic book fan all my life that reads comic books, that not only reads comic books, but now sells comic books and sees what the readers like and the readers' trends. Doctor Strange, Black Panther, um, who else are characters like that? Yeah, that's that, so far. That, that, that's it. I mean, Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel is going to be the next, good, the next movie. Yeah. You know, Ant Man. You know, yeah. these are not popular characters in the comic books. Uh, but but to be fair, neither was Iron Man. Iron Man was a B character. Iron Man has never been a B character. He's always been a B character. He has never been a B character. Yeah. He was no, he wasn't. Yeah. I mean, granted, he's no fucking Spider-Man and Captain America or right. in the Marvel Universe, but but he was always, like, one of the top Avengers. I, I'll, I'll tell you what, man. You know? To me, that doesn't matter because, at, at least after seeing Doctor Strange... And, and, and you know what you, you know what else makes Iron Man great and why mm-hmm. Iron Man succeeded in the general public is because people, out of all the heroes, we could be Iron Man. No, we, we, we're we, not geniuses. No, but the human race has that possibility to achieve Tony Stark I mean, level. maybe Elon Musk. Well, whatever. the human A representative of the human race does. Uh, we, we, we can't... 
I mean, I guess that's we can't fly and do Thor, and we can't fucking swing from fucking buildings and fucking climb walls. That's never gonna fucking happen. So, but Iron uh, Man is relatable. uh, Okay, that's fine. I I think that after watching Doctor Strange and now Black Panther, I'm really excited because I I think it's refreshing. What makes it exciting to me is as as a comic book fan, I'm taking interest in characters I would never take interest in Mm -hmm. before. Because you, you hated no, no. Doctor Strange. I hate that. Do- I hate still Doctor hate Strange. Doctor Strange. I hate anything magic. I don't read the book to this day. I like the movie, though. Yeah. I like the movie. You yeah. know, Deadpool achieved that for me, too, because I hate comedy in my yeah, books, I hate, too. Yeah, I hate Deadpool. But, but, but the movie's great. Yeah. The movie's solid. Um, so Marvel's doing... Mar- Marvel's got a Infinity War coming up next. Mm-hmm. After Infinity War, they have... Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Ant-Man and the Wasp, which looks amazing. Yeah. Um... And then, uh, I don't know what's next. Is it Avengers again? I don't know. Or Captain Marvel, maybe. One of the two. Probably Captain Marvel. One of the two. They got Guardians 3 that they're going to be working on. That was confirmed. Mm-hmm. And that's all that's in the books right now, huh? I think. Maybe, like they're also the, maybe they're also waiting for this Fox deal. Yeah, maybe they're waiting for the Fox deal. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Because I mean, maybe they just don't want to make another movie where... They don't have, they don't, you know, be great. Next movie has X-Men in it, so. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, or Fantastic listen Four, if, if you guys have been following us, I'm not for this Fox deal deal because right. I think it fucks up competition in other ways. But uh, if if it does go through, it, it gives a huge opportunity to Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios to really just, again, the Fantastic Four come with a huge, you know, list of great characters. The X-Men universe is... It's it stood it stood alone for the past twenty years already. No. You know the X Men don't need anybody as we've seen. Because yeah, they have enough characters. Yeah. So. Um, Anyways, I'm about to pass out. So. What do you mean, about to fucking I'm, pass I'm out? Really sleepy. Dude, we should keep recording. How is <laughs> No, I, I don't want to go. What's the other goes down? Oh my god. Um, so in the end, reviews for our my my final room thing about Black Panther is I believe that Black Panther is a great movie. I think it's an important movie. It was enjoyable. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed myself. I like it. I don't have complaints. Um, I think that there's a lot of hyperbole behind it. I don't think that it's the best Marvel movie, but that doesn't that doesn't mean that it's a bad movie. I just don't think it's the best. I do think it's great. I do think it's important. I do think uh, it does a lot for the character of Black Panther and and that world and bringing and it's a great way to transition and bring Wakanda into the Marvel universe. That was really well done. Great. Um. I don't feel like it's it's as connected to the Marvel Universe as the other Marvel movies. And um, I think they really missed with not introducing uh, the final stone. Especially being that, again, this is the lead in into the Avengers. Um, we're still missing that final stone. And the Avengers um, Infinity War cannot be more than two and a half hours. Yeah, Sorry, and, guys. And, and so, you know... Th- a lot of story to tell in that time. Th- this should have been the lead in into it, right? But it, 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 almost, it, it almost ended with, like, Infinity War was going to start with, like, what the fuck? Right, like... I don't know. Like I, I, felt don't even, like, I don't even know how it's gonna start. Yeah, there should there should have been some type of lead in. Um, yeah. Other than that, it was a great movie. Marvel, you know, my 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 favorite thing about this movie, Michael B. Jordan's performance. Great. Um, Marvel, I think, uh, finally after all these fucking years, is nailing the villains. Uh, Baron Zemo. Um, now we have. Oh, no, uh, shut the fuck up! Look, you like Baron Zemo, but you hated Ego. Yeah, Ego was terrible. Ego came after Baron. I, Zemo. I don't I don't consider Guardians of the Galaxy to a real Marvel movie. Like, that's like a kid's TV show thing. That was, okay. like, made for my son. But Baron Zemo was great. Killmonger looks was amazing. And it looks like Thanos is going to knock it out of the park. So, good on you, Marvel. Did you like the Thor villain? Did I like what Thor villain? Uh, Hela? So, Marvel doesn't nail its villains. But it <laughs> nailed... It nailed Killmonger. Was uh, amazing. Yeah. And, I don't know... Kate Blanche is a pretty good fucking actress, so I can't just say that like Michael B. Jordan outacted her. She's pretty fucking good. Who? Just the uh, Kate Blanchett, right? She's Kate Blanchett, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. No, Kate um, Blanchett did great. Yeah, I think just really wrote kill. I, I don't know. Maybe he's, he's such a tragic character, right? He's not this villain that wants to destroy the world. This is like, like someone you feel for. You man. know who else did great was Sterling K. Brown, the guy from This Is Us, the, mm-hmm. and and from People vs. O.J. Simpson. Yeah, that, that played Killmonger's dad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome. Great job. It, 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 too bad that he got that small role and he's dead now too. You yeah, know, yeah. Yeah, you know. But whatever. Uh, so you guys should. I, I believe uh, if anyone asks me if they should watch Black Panther, absolutely. Yeah, well, I mean, it. you should. Everyone should watch it. Listen, everyone should watch these movies anyways because if you watch them, they will continue to make them. You know, like I'm sad 
we're not going to get to see the Dark Universe because not enough of you went to go watch The Mummy, even though The Mummy was difficult to watch. I wanted to see where they were going with that. So go watch all these movies, even if they get horrible reviews. Watch them. And you never know, they might be good. Like uh, like Cloverfield Paradox is good. Yeah, ended up being good. So. Even though everyone's saying it sucks a dick. Oh, pretty good. Um, so is is this movie going to be top grossing movie of the year, like you originally said? No. So you take that back now? Yeah, because this is, this is, this is a movie that leaving the theater a, a lot of these people that saw black panther are now going to see the avengers yeah and a lot of people that would not have seen the avengers are going to see it now because of black panther yeah yeah i mean we were so, in the, we were I in the mean, theater and i i heard people around us saying that this is the first marvel movie that yeah they've yeah seen. and and so yep. marvel tapped into a whole new audience so yeah i think uh while this movie is going to do excellent, get a lot of accolades where it does. Um, I, I know I didn't mention the soundtrack. The soundtrack was incredible. The soundtrack was great. Um, it's going to get a lot of accolades and, and, and deservedly so for what it is. Um, Casino scene was good. Uh, Avengers is going to wreck this movie. Avengers is going to wreck every movie. I'm worried Avengers is going to be a clusterfuck, though. No. Avengers they is... Need, the Russo brothers need to balance... I hope they balance the characters. I, we've trusted them until now. They've done a great job. Listen... The Captain movies were amazing. Avengers, I believe, and I'm saying this now, that Avengers Infinity War is going to set a bar that Marvel will never reach again. Do you think Avengers Infinity War is going to surpass the box office for Avengers? Yes. Avengers Infinity War is going to be the climax of the Marvel movies. After Avengers Infinity War, I do not believe that Marvel will be able to make a better movie. Is it going to surpass Force Awakens money? I don't know. <laughs> it's a big one. Right? It might. It's a big one. It, if I had to put up an upcoming movie that had a chance, it would be Avengers. Yeah. Definitely. All right. So, um, Black Panther will, I think it'll be the second highest gross. I think it's going to outsell Deadpool even. And Deadpool has a lot of hype. It looks like a great movie, has a lot of hype, but, um. I I'm, don't think it's going to be Deadpool. Um, Black Panther's a movie I would take my kids to. I still don't think it's going to be Deadpool. You're not counting on those family ticket sales, man. I don't. Well, we'll see. I don't think it's going to be I'm telling you it's going to be Deadpool. I don't think it's going to be dead. This will easily be the second highest grossing movie, Black Panther. You said it yourself in the theater. A ton of people were commenting that this is the first comic book movie they've ever seen. Those same people are not going to watch Solo. Those same people are not going to watch Solo's Deadpool. another one. Solo's going to be huge. Um, I, there's, I, I don't think, you know, after what happened with The Last Jedi, the, 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 the reviews and the, the negative reception of The Last Jedi, I don't think so. I think that Disney put itself in a difficult position with, uh, with Solo. I think releasing it so close to The Last Jedi also is a huge mistake. I agree. Probably should have set it back in October, November. I agree. All I gotta say when we're talking about all this shit right now is where the fuck is Warner Brothers in DC? Right? Every preview we saw, every trailer we saw was for, uh... Well, of course they're not gonna put a Warner Brothers trailer on a fucking Disney movie. Uh, I don't know. But still, but but even aside from that, like, we're talking about all these movies coming out in the Venom, next like, yeah, Ant-Man and Wasp is coming out in July. I didn't fucking know that. Yeah, in and July. And Venom is Venom's coming out. coming out in the fall. What the DC, where the fuck are you? You like, know? Like, really? Seriously, DC. Justice League came out on digital, by the you way. You guys have 8 week. million characters. I mean, Marvel made a movie about a talking fucking raccoon, guys. I know. Like, DC, what the fuck? Marvel made a movie about a talking raccoon. Like, you have Superman and Batman. A tree. A and... tree voiced by Vin Diesel that only says that only says Groot. I know. Marvel did that. And dude, you suck the Guardians' dicks hard, dude. No, I mean, it's impressive what I know, they did. I'm just saying, you're, like, all up on that Guardian cock. Dude, that's impressive. They it, made a talking tree. Like, fucking people come in here asking for Groot pop figures all the time. It's insane. They didn't do, do, do anything. I'm kind of upset that baby Groot is no more. Yeah, I don't like Teenage Groot. What a fucking punk. Look, let me say, you hate, uh, you know what, I, Baby Groot was the best part of Guardians too. Yeah, that, he was. Yeah. He was the only part I found. Hands Guardians. down. Yeah. Hands down. Oh, good night. Uh, what, what, that, that's it? I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to fall asleep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corka. Don't watch. And uh, go watch Black Panther. Let us know what you thought uh, in the comments. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, Tom, Corker Comics, uh, either youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics or search Corker Comics on youtube.com. Come to either one of our stores. We got one in Pembroke Pines on 
Pines Boulevard, just East University Drive, across from Perry Airport, and another one in Miami on 107th and 8th Street, across from FIU. Uh, Black Panther. Killmonger was right. I'm going to go home and uh, edit this now because I'm jumping on a plane tomorrow to go to New York Toy Fair. Good luck. Have fun. Yep. Follow us on Cork Comics if you want to see those updates. Anyways, kids. Good night. Good night.